they made us. Huh? You know I'm Pisces in Vegas. Huh? This for the that hate us. Huh? I make a lot of new money. You like in my flavor. Huh? I think it's God. Ice on the wrist. Call on the wrist. Call on the wrist. Watch out for the wrist. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to. And I think he really said it a few months ago where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. On second down now. Buckley. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. A look now at our starting defense. They interplay one from the bottom, number 31 in the league, Charles, against the run. And that's been an Achilles heel for them all season long, being able to play against the run, being able to slow teams down. But it's not just that. When you give up big chunks of yardage in the running game, it also opens up the passing options for the team you're playing as well. So typically, when you don't play the run well, you get... He rifles one that's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. So here are visitors to take over on offense. Push him back to the 34. 
Well, we knew coming in it was going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the gate. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complementary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Toward the pilot. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Here in the first. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And he comes out on the heel. You know, that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team. They tell him, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They pick up 11 in addition to moving the chains. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. On second down, Buckley. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. On third down, Buckley. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him three yards and a fresh set of down. In the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. Here we go, here we go. 18, Gator. Bandit, bandit. Off the play fake, Newell. 
And his throw is incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big time play meanwhile on third down they take a shot at the end zone but it's incomplete i know he wants to get his team back in the game but a 50 50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable yeah he's pretty lucky to get that one back i think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance and that can put your team in some dutch yeah especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And all the way down to the 29. A big play there on the catch and run. For to watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Off play action. Quinn. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Off the play fake. Quinn. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Now listen, now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome, you'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start the drive at the 43. Now left side on the swing pass. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, 
I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Back to throw. Newell, and he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. 12 yards there and a first down. They'll run on first down. Buckley, he'll get only a couple down to the 44. Oh, yeah. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 17 carries, 70 yards. How about we shot a little spotlight on the offensive line? Those big guys up front are creating Henry. nice space, nice Henry. gaps for them to run through. I think he's going to go for over 100 yards in this game. On second down now, Buckley. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Let's go, team. Let's go. Check 31. Check 31. Go. Off play action. Newell. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. So here are visitors to take over on offense. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. We saw that field goal try a moment ago. I'll never understand, but as a result, this offense, they've got to be pumped. First and 10 in striking position already. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And his guys have taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. The try here for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. 
But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They try to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. It's a first down on a gain of 10. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Operating from the gun, Quinn. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this. What we'll strength of this team all year long? And apparently they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decide to make it a priority, and it's working out. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Just like that. Just like that. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have to contend with a third and 13. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, and you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Charles, not to point fingers, but how much of this goes on the shoulders of the offensive line? Well, look at the six sacks last week. That's the fourth in this game. Definitely the bulk of it does go on the offensive line. That's what they're tasked with doing, keeping their quarterback upright and clean in the pocket. But I think they have to look at, okay, are we bringing in extra people? Is the ball out of the quarterback's hands quick enough? There are a few other factors that they have to look at to try and help out, but you're exactly right. It starts with the O-line. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. On third down, Newell. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. 51 yards on the punt there. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. 
He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. That pass play wound up for negative yardage. So here's second and 11. Off the play fake. Quinn. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Quinn got his man complete over the middle. It's Hicks. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And they bring their punter out there now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's in trouble, and he's taken down. Good job. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll try the left side. Buckley. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. On third and two, Newell. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And great special teams work here. Let's just knock it on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? So here are visitors to take over on offense. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and it'll bring up a second and 14. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. Stop. 
Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. So a change of possession here, here on the here punt. Here Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Newell looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain down to about the 33. Got it. He's taken down at the 34. Receiver, receiver, receiver. Hey, you're on the night. From the gun on third down, Newell. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 12 yards as they get to reset the sticks. It is hard in zone coverage to stop a curl route because when they see it, they just try and find the open spot and sit down. Yeah, we always talk about finding the soft spot in the zone. What's the key to doing that? How do you do it? You have to read what the coverage is. Is it too deep? Is it three deep? Because then you know where the linebackers are going to drop, what spots on the field they naturally get to, and you find that open space, and then you're in sync with your quarterback. He should be reading the exact same thing. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw, Newell, and he fires one incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Newell, and tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. Spotted at the left hash. This from 45. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
So here are visitors to take over on offense. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football, that's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. First down, Quinn looking middle, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off the bootleg. Quinn. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, in this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Second and long. And that's off the mark, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Quinn. Throwing the out route, incomplete. That's Ward. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. And his kick is indeed good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along. But their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Back to throw now on second and 10. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. I think it's okay that they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Yeah. 
And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They go play action here on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again, Quinn. Now they go screen, it's complete. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Looking to throw, Quinn. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back to throw, Quinn. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Ortiz. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Looking to throw. Quinn. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. This offense so far on third down, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of a long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. So here is the home side to take over on offense. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss. This is caught inside the 15. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Back to throw. Newell. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. 
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And his kick is good. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven, we'll get it started in Philadelphia. The defending champs hosting Washington in an NFC East matchup. And in the second quarter, it is the Eagles who are out in front. The Eagles try to hold on and claim victory. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. The Panthers seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And they've got the lead over the visiting Arizona Cardinals. The Vikings locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the... A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. It blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen... And he can't escape, and down he goes. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole, third and long. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So they bring out their putter as he's on to kick it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Come on, baby. Let's go. Big Let's go. Let's go. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And boy, Charles, they have to find a way to just get him some time to breathe back there. He's been pressured throughout this game. 
And I'll bet in his mind he's thinking the focus shouldn't be on how many times I've gone down. It's where is it happening? Where are the breakdowns up front? He'll never say it publicly because good leaders don't do that. They've got to figure out what's happening in the offensive line to keep people away from him so he actually has a chance to throw the football because so far, that has not been the case. Five full sacks against him. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. 23 yards to pick up there. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, yeah, too. Yeah, tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. On the ready. 21, right 21. Check my 21. Hey, 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 hey. I want to flare. I want to flare. 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 On first down, Quinn over the middle complete. It's Ward. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Quinn. And a quick throw here, that's complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Looking to throw. Quinn. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. This quarterback now rebounding nicely after the interception. He's hit four straight to start the drive. It's first down. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They'll keep it on the ground. It's Ortiz. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this. Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, 
and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three, why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And, again, that second score here in the third quarter. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. From the gun on third down, Newell throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They've got things rolling on this drive. On first down, Buckley. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Offense, they are down by a single possession here, 16-9, as they come up first and 10. They'll run on first down, Ortiz. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really... First and 10, Quinn got his man complete over the middle. That's Hicks. 
Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Quinn toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Off play action. Quinn. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Quinn. Throw left side complete. That's Ortiz. And he's going to get this inside the 30. We play to win. Let's go. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space. Let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. First down, Quinn looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Barnett. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll get him down right around the 16. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. To throw on third down. Quinn looking to get it to Ward. Intercepted. Picked off inside the five. It's a foot race, 20, and it's a touchdown. 3rd down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. Yeah, and it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field on an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. point attempt here still to come <laughs> and the lead is up to 14 a heck of a play there defensively getting the interception navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here we go. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. To throw on second down, Quinn. Throw left side complete. That's Hicks. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the Let's penalty go. you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Back to throw. Quinn. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? And not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done. But guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. If this for baseball, we call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Okay, so thought they might go for it here down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit from the left hash this from 46 and his kick is absolutely perfect and the drive will wind up yielding three so a good snap good hold and right down the middle never in doubt just the way you used to hit him partner you mean like uh kicking the ball exactly well that was in high school doesn't matter <laughs> i don't care what level you hit them they go through this is fielded at the goal line and he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll try the left side. Buckley. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. 
He's going to fire one deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Second and 10, over the middle complete. It's Ward, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. On first and 10, Quinn firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. On third down, Quinn. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Baker. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Looking to throw. Quinn. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Back to throw. Quinn. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Looking to throw. Quinn got his man complete over the middle. It's Buchanan. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Ball up to the 35 now check, as they come up on first and 10. Check, check, check. Watch it, go. Watch it, Operating from the gun. Quinn, throw left side complete. It's Baker. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it'll be a turnover. This is going the other way. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one... That puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. So here is the home side to take over on offense. Turnover that just got them the football back, obviously a big one, because had they been able to score on the other side, this would have been a one-possession game. So you don't sense full relief here, then? No, I don't think, especially with the ball this deep in their own territory, because you make a mistake, they've got it right back in prime position. They certainly do. So now, almost like a, you know, almost like a four-minute offense, right? Take care of this bad boy. Make sure the other team doesn't touch it, but move it with consistent gains. Wear down the clock and make them use their timeouts in this situation. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Come on. From the gun, Newell. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Here we go on second and 12. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will score. It's a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Back to throw. Quinn. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Oh, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. Come on, set. 60 out, Law. Watch the run, watch the run. Step. Throwing after the interception. Newell. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Off the play fake. Newell. And the pressure gets to him again. So, Brandon, we've sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Looking to throw. Newell. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. And they'll send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are visitors to take over on offense. On 
on the right. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Throwing on first down. Quinn looking left side and he's got a man. It's Baker. Touchdown! A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And his guys are going to retake the lead. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Operating from the gun, Quinn. His pass caught at the four. And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. Well, that decision to me was all about pulling up the chart. You know, that, that beautiful chart that tells you when to go for two, when you to go that for chart. one. I do love it. It helps you with your decision-making during heated times. And just look at it right here in this part point of the game. Go for two. Try and make it a field goal difference. But now just up one makes the rest of this fourth quarter a little more interesting. Yeah, they followed the chart. They just didn't get the two points on the board, did they? Nope. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Back to throw. Newell. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Looking to throw. Newell. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. It'll be a three-yard gain. And just like that, it's third down. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Back to throw. Newell. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first down, Newell. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Looking to throw. Newell. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. Partners bad enough. Four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. So here are visitors to take over on offense. First down. It's Ortiz. 
10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Ortiz. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Get up, boys. 70, Indy. Clear. On third down, Ortiz. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Here we go, here we go. 60 out, Law. Ready? Double time, double time. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Back to throw. Quinn. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. All day, defense. All day. All day. Ready, ready. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And on now is the punter. He's been terrific so far. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room. So for our visitors, that's now five wins on the campaign as they get the job done here. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Oklahoma City, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into two and four now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.